As we all know, Charles Leclerc will be driving for Ferrari in 2019 after impressing so much in 2018. But Charles has been impressing ever since his days in karting. And ever since his GP3 title in 2016, his meteoric rise has just continued. And in today's video, we are going to look at the rise of Charles Leclerc and just how he's going to do at Ferrari in 2019. But let's start from the very start as Charles Leclerc was born in 1997 in Monaco immediately into a racing family as his dad Herve raced in Formula 3 in the 80s and 90s. So there was already racing pedigree right there and it was no surprise he began competitive karting at just 8 years old. But he was very successful in karting as he won a title in almost every year between 2005 and 2013. Whilst at the same time competing with drivers such as Max Verstappen and also Esteban Ocon. But once his karting career was over, he now had to make the step up to single seaters. And even though he wasn't successful right away, it was clear that this guy had something special. And eventually in single seaters, his talent shone through to give him the GP3 title in 2016. But he now had to make the step up to the most prestigious and hardest junior Formula Racing Series in the world. Formula 2 where he was expected to take the title in 2017. And he showed exactly why as in Bahrain he put in one of his best drives of his entire career. As he marched his way through the field and got into the lead of the Grand Prix. After taking literally seconds a lap out of some people. But after a couple more successful weekends came a very difficult time for Charles Leclerc. As just days before his race in Baku, his father Herve had sadly passed away. But showed incredible mental strength to still come through and win the Grand Prix. To be that mentally strong still after such a sad moment just shows how good this kid is. As he didn't let a difficult moment like this affect his performance. Now for the rest of the season, Charles Leclerc was not as good as he was in the first half of the season, but he still did enough to take the F2 title. Because essentially he was the best driver in the field. But he now had to make the step up to the biggest series of motorsport, Formula 1. Where in 2018 he would be driving for Sauber. And even though he was expected to do well, the first couple of races were actually quite tough as he was struggling to drive the car with the driving style he had, and thus had to make changes to it to adopt the Sauber setup. And once he did, he then started showing why he is such a good driver, as he started to score points in Baku, Spain and Canada. But then came the part of 2018 which earned him his Ferrari drive for 2019, the races during the summer. First off at the French Grand Prix, not only did Charles finish in the top 10 in the Grand Prix, but also qualified inside the top 10. And at the time was one of the most impressive performances of the season so far. Then in Austria, he followed that up with another points finish. And even though at Silverstone and Hockenheim he didn't score points, he still qualified inside the top 10 in a Sauber that did not deserve to be in that position. That is essentially what got him the drive at Ferrari was because he was putting in such impressive performances in a Sauber car that was not that good. Certainly not as good as he was doing. But after he was announced at Ferrari for 2019, the impressive performances continued. With great performances in Russia, Mexico and Brazil. And now for this season, he is driving for the team he's been dreaming of driving for for such a long time. And is also driving for the team that his good friend who is sadly no longer with us, Joel Bianchi, was also dreaming to drive for. And it's also a bit touching that Charles essentially has continued what Bianchi was going to do, which is drive for Ferrari. But how is Charles going to do at Ferrari in 2019? Well, he has to overcome the inevitable mental hurdles that come with driving for that team. Driving for Ferrari is like nothing else. You have the pressure of an entire country on you, not just the workers at the factory. It is the most pressurised seat in Formula 1. And if you don't perform, you will be kicked out because of the pressure. But I think Charles has shown that he does have the mental strength to succeed at Ferrari again after that win in F2 at Baku after the passing of his father. 
and also proved himself to be mentally strong after responding to his tough start at Sauber. I think mentally this kid does have enough to succeed, but we don't know until he actually races for the team in a real Grand Prix. But when it comes to succeeding at Ferrari, what exactly defines success? For me, it's simple. You need to win, say, 10 Grand Prix at Ferrari to be a real success at the team, even if you have not won a world title. So yes, I would consider Fernando Alonso to be a success at Ferrari. But if you look at the people who have succeeded and failed at Ferrari, there is one key difference. The ones who do work out Ferrari tend to be one of the very best on the grid at the time they are racing in. For example, Lauda, Schumacher, Raikkonen, Alonso, even Sebastian Vettel. You have to be supremely talented to win Grand Prix for Ferrari. But to win a championship, you also have to be very strong right here. And because Charles is one of the most talented on the grid, he really should succeed. But again, we don't know until the real racing starts. Also, one big thing he has to contend with is Sebastian Vettel, his teammate. Now, if Charles Leclerc wants to succeed at Ferrari and actually be the team leader of the team, he has to follow one example. The example of Lewis Hamilton against Fernando Alonso in 2007 and how Lewis unsettled Fernando at McLaren. What Charles has to do is get ahead early on in the season to unsettle Vettel's mentality. That's what Lewis did in 2007 as already by race number 7, Lewis was ahead. Charles Leclerc has to strike early on against Sebastian Vettel if he is to beat him. If he doesn't start strong and Vettel does, then I don't think Leclerc is going to unsettle Vettel in 2019 at all. But again, if he wants to make it his team right now, he has to unsettle him right from the word go. I think he can and I think it would be great to see it happen in a similar way to what happened between Hamilton and Alonso in 2007. But will Charles Leclerc succeed at Ferrari? I think he will. In my opinion, he will because he is talented enough and mentally strong enough. Whether he actually will, again, I don't know. We'll have to see once we get to Melbourne. I wouldn't call Charles Leclerc, I wouldn't call Charles Leclerc a once-in-a-generation driver, but I would say that he's one of the most talented in his generation of drivers. But at the end of the day, he doesn't have to be the most talented in his generation to be the most successful. As long as Ferrari give him a good enough car in 2019 and beyond, he really should win races. And hopefully Ferrari can do exactly that, not only for Charles Leclerc, but also Sebastian Vettel. But four drivers in 2019, like Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel, Charles Leclerc is definitely one to keep their eye on. As if things go well, this kid could mount a title challenge in 2019. And Leclerc's meteoric rise could be set to continue. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below what you thought of this video and how Charles Leclerc will do in 2019. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server in the link below in the description with my Twitter and my website. Again, sorry if things are not perfect in the new studio, but we are still working on things and I think it is going well. But again, when it comes to this subject, make sure to comment down below what you think about Charles Leclerc for this season. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. But anyway, guys, as ever, it's been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.